Now, how you mentioned uh, that you're the largest in feed. There were some call questions on the call about how wheat is, seems to have crested, the corn seems to have crested, but you weren't so sure. You did not give us a inflation is subdued or over story at all in the conference call. Realist or just a, basically uh, an acceptance of what's going on in the world? You know, I think our theme has been that inflation is persistent right. and consistent. And we don't see, you know, in the next six to nine months, much moderation, you know, perhaps from high single digits down into hot mid-ish single digits. But, you know, as I said on the call, I mean, the big thing that we're watching is PPI. And uh, PPI has got to start to turn before CPI, CPI. turns. And, you know, PPI is a great proxy for all the input costs that we have as retailers in terms of our wholesale prices we're paying. And, uh, and you know, when, once we start to see PPI moderate, we'll see P CPI moderate. As, re as with respect to commodities, uh, you know, corn and wheat have had some pullback in the last couple of weeks. Those are big inputs into animal feed and pet food and other, other uh, feeds that we sell. Um, but I think the jury's out if that's going to hold. You know, there's a lot of assumptions on yield, a lot of assumptions on cost, uh, and Ukraine and Brazil and a number of other factors that go into play. And, and I think the jury's still out on how that's going to play out for the back half of the year. Yeah, I agree with you. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com. Or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.